Hello, my name's Sarah Hatherley, and this next story is called The Virus That Crashed His Computer. Now, I want to tell you a little story, one that's not the least bit gory. Oops. About a boy and his computer. No blood and guts, but there is a shooter. See, this young fella, he loves his games. Carjacking and kung fu, I forget their names. Lost in a maze of violent play, I guess it's his way to deal with the day. But games are not the real attraction. They're just a form of mindless distraction. And don't think for a moment this lad's into chat. Talk to his big sister if you want more on that. No, what draws him into the flickering screen is the powerful brain of his awesome machine. He can travel the world in just a few seconds, learn to say hello in ancient Tibetan. It's smarter than anyone he's actually met. His teacher, librarian, even the vet. Marvelling at its sheer speed and grunt makes him feel powerful, the family runt. So when his dad tells him to use his bloody noodle, the first thing he does is head for a site called Google. Calculations and translations, it'll get you out of a jam. Just make sure you reboot and have plenty of RAM. But at the end of the day, he loved that computer so much, without him noticing, it had become a crutch. And there it was, staring him in the face one morning. The gravity of his problem was only just dawning. Wondering out loud, he said, What's happening to me? Somehow I've mutated and become a PC. But the real trouble started when he looked up papyrus. Somehow his precious computer contracted a virus. Sadly, our young man didn't know it was infected, so when it spat out an answer, he didn't think to reject it. So here's this little boy who'd come to rely on a massive computer with more than one faulty neuron. It was doing his head in trying to work everything out, and there was nothing to distract him from his father's shouts. You idiot! You moron! What were you thinking? The more abuse he took on, the more he kept shrinking. Negativity was the virus that had corrupted his mind. It believed all the bad stuff, whatever it could find. Finally, his computer went into meltdown. It crashed so completely, it couldn't even give him a noun. In the silence that followed, he heard the neighbour's lawnmower. He felt the sun on his face, glimpsed a lone distant rower. Hmm, I think it's time I went outdoors. Uh Uh-oh. Next thing he was lying in the heap on the floor. Then the sounds of kids playing in a nearby street made his heart literally skip a beat. Ah, actually, I feel like going out. Now that was from the heart without a doubt. As he walked into the sunshine and someone kicked him a ball, he realised being smart wasn't complex at all. Sure, it would be handy if life came complete with instructions, But if the truth be known, it was a simple deduction. Leave the big decisions in life to your heart and give your brain the grunt work. There's a good start.